So we've gone ahead and made the necessary modifications to the dash. And now we've got all these wires that we have to do something with. So I've gone ahead and run the wires that were connected over on the driver's side. I've run the backup camera. Now we're going to deal with the rest of these. So we're going to start. We'll take this one here. This is the CD-ROM plug from the OEM system. We're just going to tuck this. There's a little hole in the back. We're not going to be reusing it, so we'll get rid of that. Get it out of the way. Um, <clears throat> so now this opened up the whole bottom. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to be installing the OnStar unit on the bottom. Now it's tempting if the customer says, oh, I don't use OnStar, it's not activated, just, oh, I'm not going to put it in. But what will happen is the vehicle won't start unless the OnStar is connected. So what we're going to do, we'll just put it right here at the bottom and slide it in. It's nice and tight. It's not going to move. We'll plug this in. You have two plugs on this side. Over on the other side, we have the two antennas. Those will just snap right in. And we're done. So we'll push these wires out of the way. These wires, we have one plug with what, six wire, or six pin, eight pin. And then we have this USB looking one. This is actually video. These were used on the factory screen. These won't be reused. So we'll go ahead and put these out of the way. And there's a lot of little compartments and there's room in the back to hide all this stuff. So in this system, there's a, an OEM uh, satellite radio, but it's built into the radio itself. So we're not able to retain it. But what we're going to do is we're going to be installing this SVX 200. You can also use the SVX 300 or whatever comes out after it. Now, usually with this system, plugs into the back of the aftermarket radio, and then it comes with an antenna that you run and you put on the dash or you put outside so that you can get reception. We're going to use our SAT1 adapter. What this is going to do, we're going to plug it in right here. Now, because this system, the original system had an OEM satellite radio and it was located in the cavity here, we're going to take this and now we're going to use that to retain the OEM satellite radio antenna. This whole system is kind of bulky, not really bulky, but for what we're going to do, we're going to need to get it out of the way. This was also in the OEM radio. It's a plug that's not being used. That can go out of the way. Next, we have the FM antenna. The FM antenna from GM doesn't match an aftermarket radio, so we'll be using this adapter. We just plug it in, and I'm going to run it the same way I ran the satellite radio. So before we started, I went ahead and ran the GPS antenna and the microphone. The microphone needs to be run for the, the uh, Bluetooth because the OEM Bluetooth can't be retained in this system. These are our two main plugs for our aftermarket radio. So before we go ahead and connect up the harness, we have this, I ran this ahead of time. This is our speaker. The speaker will be playing chimes and it will do OnStar when the radio is turned off. So I went ahead and ran the wire through the dash. And once we're, uh, we're all done the rest of the install, on the back you see there's a, a pad of Velcro and you have a sticker. I'll just affix it to the bottom of the dash and that way it'll be audible, but out of the way. On this end, we have a two pin and it goes to this adapter. This adapter is for different different models of the RR. So we're using a slightly older model that doesn't have the new two pin yet. So we'll use this adapter. <laughs> 